Azerbaijan's Defense Ministry on Tuesday said it had begun an anti-terrorist campaign in the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh region as Armenian authorities reported heavy bombardment in the regional capital of Stepnikert. At least 25 people have been killed and over 138 are reported injured amid artillery, missile and drone strikes by the Azerbaijan military. Nagorno-Karabakh, which is an ethnic Armenian enclave, is an internationally recognized part as part of Azerbaijan. Well, it has been cause of two wars between the neighbors in the past three decades. And the most recently, nearly three years ago, that is in the year 2020. Azerbaijani Zimbabwe Zujera, Skselen, Lernen, Garabagi, Asteuchan, Amboch. Taratski, Harita Gotsutsuna, Yev Naev, Voros Ramanak Ants, Skselen, Naev, Gortsutsun. Earlier on Tuesday, Azerbaijan sent troops into Armenian controlled Karabakh internationally, recognized as part of its own territory. The Azerbaijan military was sent in an attempt to bring the region to heels by force, raising the threat of a new war with neighbor Armenia. Now, tensions have been simmering around the region for months after Azerbaijan troops blockaded the Lashin corridor, corridor in December, cutting off the only road connecting Nagorno-Karabakh to Armenia and preventing the import of food to its roughly 120,000 inhabitants. Намерение Азербайджана, наверное, известны всем уже давно. Стереть Армению с лица земли. Russian peacekeepers who were deployed to Nagorno-Karabakh under the terms of the 2020 ceasefire have been tasked with preventing a fresh conflict breaking out. But Moscow has been accused of being unable or unwilling to intervene to protect Armenia. Там мы видим, что как они мир творят, так сказать. Ну, никакого мира пока что нет. Я не вижу. Они или не могут уже, или не хотят. Или в сговоре с турками. However, Russian President Vladimir Putin quashed all the allegations and said that he was in continuous talks with the Armenian Prime Minister. Putin further added that he hoped that Azerbaijan would refrain from any ethnic cleansing in Nagorno-Karabakh. Он прислал мне письмо развернутое. Мы с ним в контакте. Здесь никаких проблем у нас с Арменией нет. И с премьер-министром Пашиняном никаких проблем нет. Мы с ним в постоянном контакте. Urging Armenia, urging Armenia and Azerbaijan to stop bloodshed in Karabakh, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman said that Russia was worried by the escalation and that Moscow's peacekeepers in the region would continue their mission. Действительно получаем информацию на этот счет из разных источников. Мы глубоко встревожены резкой эскалацией ситуации в Нагорном Карабахе. Поступают сообщения о начале азербайджанскими вооруженными силами, как заявляет Баку, антитеррористических мероприятий в регионе и ответных действиях местных армянских вооруженных формирований. Российская сторона настоятельно призывает конфликтующие стороны остановить кровопролитие, незамедлительно прекратить военные действия и вернуться на путь политика дипломатического урегулирования. Но, apart from holding talks with Russia, Armenian Prime Minister also held talks with the United States Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. Now, Antony Blinken expressed United States' deep concern for the situation and underscored that the United States is calling on Azerbaijan to immediately cease hostilities and return to dialogue immediately. In the previous war, which ended in a crushing defeat for the de facto Nagorno-Karabakh state, lasted for nearly 44 days before a Moscow-brokered ceasefire ended the conflict between the two.